and agriculture. I love it. Okay, so um, next on our list here tonight, let's meet our new board members. Uh, please stand up. Our new board members, Jennifer, Melissa, Evan, please stand up. Come up. Please come up. Please come up. Come on, guys. Give it up for the new board members. Yeah, and Wayne, please come up. You're the board member. You're a state board member. Yeah, state board, state board member. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, basically, these three individuals plus Greg Greg Hopkins is on the mainland right now. He's the fourth. Uh, are our new Maui uh, board members, and I stayed on with the Maui Maui board, and then Wayne has been elected to the state um, board. And then uh, Bill Greenleaf is also, who's on the mainland right now, is on the state board. So we have three Maui members on the state board. And and two, yeah, come closer. So this is a photo. <laughs> okay. That smile gone. <laughs> yeah, we take pictures to make sure that they, you know, they can't weasel out. <laughs> um, so I want you to, I want you to hear from them, okay? Um, what really heartened me at the at our meeting, the election that night, was our president, who's real visionary. Led Martinez has, has got some great vision. He said that night, he goes up to Wayne and Billy, says, "Hey, you guys." Why don't you step down from the Maui board and allow other people to step up? And I thought that was really, uh, really a great uh, thing for him to say. And uh, it kind of caught us all kind of like, you know. But yeah, it's so cool because here's, look at these three leaders who just uh, said, yeah, yeah, I'd like to be uh, involved and, and make a difference here. So um, we'll give it up to Wayne first, okay, and then we'll go across. I see a lot of vision for what the farmers union can do in the islands. I mean, it wasn't just a few years ago, really, that um, people organized it here. The Farm Bureau has been here for a long time, but there's a tremendous need for the farmers union in terms of raising organic and supporting the small farmers. And uh, there's many things that we can do in that regard. And it's uh, you'll hear you, know, you heard about HB 667. There's other things coming down the pipe too that we really need to unite and. Um, stand up for ourselves and do something about uh, these regulations that are coming down and going to be covering us over if we're not careful. So that's kind of my vision for what part of what Farmers Union can do. I didn't prepare anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll tell you a little bit about myself because I know a lot of you don't know me, but my name is Jennifer Cherico and I'm, I'm the Executive Director of the Sustainable Living Institute of Maui at Maui College. And so, you know, we're always doing all different kinds of things related to sustainability, but one of the reasons why I've gotten involved is because I think that this organization and food systems in general in Maui is one of the most important sustainability issues of our day right now. And it's just it's so important and it's almost urgent at this point. And so I hope that I can, you know, work with you guys and hopefully do more to, to expand and, and grow and to get the word out about everything that you're doing. I really believe in the mission. And I myself am not a farmer. I am a gardener. I tried a lot of organic garden. I'm not always successful at it, so I hope to learn <laughs> learn more through this group. And, um, and I actually did my master's thesis was on gardens and school gardens specifically related to childhood obesity. So I do have a background in this area and just looking forward to working with everyone and getting to know everyone and working on creating more food independence here on Maui. So thank you so much for having me. Aloha, my name is Evan and I have um, um, one of my goals in life is to re-glorify the word farmer and re-glorify the concept of a farm. Um, because in the 
general public side, um, neither of those are glorious, and to me they're really glorious. And when I look at this this farmers union, um, I have personally I have um, energy that my my soul doesn't really resonate with political struggles and fighting and poli you know, just politics in general. Um, but what I'm really into with this is that concept of union and unity and community and coming together and in this way and sharing food and. Um, sharing our stories and being educational and joyful in the process. So, um, so I'm really in support of that and working together on that and allowing this venue to be here, not just for farmers, but for the greater community. People who, who share in this, this vision of coming together and coming together around, around land and resources and basic human needs. Um, so that's a lot of what, um, what I'm in this life for. And, and as far as on this island, I farm and I teach farming and I consult for, for different farms, but um, but more than anything, yeah, it's just about community for me. So yeah, thank you all for participating in that. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Melissa Evelyn, and I want to serve and create and help us be a stronger union. Simply um, a little bit about myself. You need I'm nervous. <laughs> anyway, um, 25 years ago, I um, suffered a illness and couldn't walk. And I am a perfect example of what Alley Cat was trying to preach. Nothing out of a box, nothing processed. Um, Whole Foods brought my life back, brought my health back. And, and now, so much today, we're losing, we're losing our freedom and our rights to have pure food, pure land, pure water, and I think us coming together and being strong, we can help advance, stick, stick together, and create a larger voice in the political issue, and uh, so we can have fresh foods and have great health and not be overcome by pollution or chemicals and fight against that. And my position, I'm going to be treasurer and help organize and simplify things simply because we all have busy lives. We are all doing four jobs at once nowadays. Not, you know, everybody's suffering during the economy. And, uh, I'm going to be using Google Docs to simplify everything for us. And, uh, Anyway, um, I look forward to working with all of you. It's my pleasure. So, um, needless to say, I'm very excited about the people that I'm going to be working with um, as a board. You guys are great. I mean, just really, I haven't had the chance to spend any time with them as a board yet. Um, we little bit, we did a phone call and we set up this meeting. And uh, if people are traveling and such, uh, it makes it difficult. But uh, um, we're going to be uh, uh, we're going to be working really well together. I'm really excited about this. And uh, already Wayne, myself, and Bill Greenleaf, and Glenn Martinez, and Natalie, and um, have been really. I mean, it's been very exciting working with those folks. Uh, and so this is just going to be an extension of that. And I'm really excited about that. Um, Irene and I. Uh, you know, sometimes we, we wonder how we're going to be able to do all that we're setting out to accomplish. Um, and it's amazing how the universe supports it without having to figure it all out. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it really is um, um, a testament to us just to see you guys all here tonight. I mean, truly. Uh, when I say you're the event, I, I, I look out and I see the faces of all you friends and, and leaders and, and it makes my whole job or whole, you know, movement of, of getting out there and, and standing up for a small farmer a lot easier. So thank you. I need ease in my life. Ease is a good thing. Yeah. So, uh, 23 years. What's that? 23 years. 23? Oh. Anniversary. <laughs> we just had our anniversary. 
the um, um, so what's really special for me too, because Irene, you know, local girl, you don't get to see many local people at events here. And I think the local people, you know, they just want to be okay and, and they want to know that their environment's okay and, and it's being looked after and, and cared for and, you know, the new old way. So that's what we're here to, you know, have a resurgence around. Irene was born in the Al Valley. She's connected to the land in some really deep ways. Um, and um, I feel very fortunate that we have a, a farm, that we have a son who works on our farm. We have a family farm. Uh, that to me is so invaluable. And um, the fact that we can then take all the blessings that we've been given and bring it to the forefront as far as being an advocate for more of that happening on the island is is another blessing. So, you know, we just want to keep keep them blessings rolling, man. And, uh, you know, you guys being here tonight, it, again, like I said, is a testament to uh, what we can create as a, as a community. And so, um, um, I want to thank you guys for being here, for being on the board, and we're going to, you know, please hold us capable to be a very strong board. Um, go home, tell your folks, tell your friends and family, to support Maui Farmers Union, and uh, we'll do our job to to be a, a very, like Evan said, a union of, of people who want to grow and, and, and uh, make our local food supply the best it can be. And uh, and so uh, on that note, Wayne, I want to give you the mic so you can give a state report, but please give it up again for the Maui. Maui.